I guess the highest point of my career was probably going to the Academy Awards for Godfather Three. You know, we had six nominations. It was like the third film I'd ever worked on. I thought it was always going to be like that, you know. I met Francis Coppola first when I was producing a little TV show for um, Showtime. What was unusual about Francis is that he was showman. He understood the idea of putting on a show. So much of his work with actors, with writing, even how he performed on the set to get performances out of the actors, how we would do the editing, really all were driven by that common theme of how do we really bring this to life. I have many things to resolve. I have you, I have you, I have the other one, I have the other one, and it all has to be like um, one great emotional thing. Yeah, but it's like, how does it end? How does it end? Writers would come in all the time and meet with me and producers, and they'd say, well, what are you looking for, you know? And, do you want a cop show? Do you want a medical show? What kind of show do you want? What? And the truth was, and I was honest with them, I'd say, I have no idea what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is the story that you have to tell. What is it that's so burning inside of you that you have to tell this story? You have to make this show. Because that's what's going to make a successful television show. Filmmaking is a personal artistic expression and that the really great filmmakers, including Francis, always draw from their own lives and their own experiences. Audiences are very sophisticated in a way, and they can tell when there's passion behind the story and what the filmmaker's trying to do in this story, and what the actors are trying to do in the story. And that's what they respond to. sold the casinos. All businesses having to do with gambling. What I'm finding is no that as the years go by, and especially with young people today, the differences are starting to be less. The all-pervading kind of media culture that exists today is everywhere. We're all sort of watching the same movies, TV shows, People are starting to become a little more one culture, at least in the Western world. It's amazing to me. I've been recently in Iceland where I'm working on a film, and I was in Italy and England, and, and all the, they all speak English. They all have the same cultural references in terms of movies they've watched and, you know, and styles they like, and fashion they like, and music they listen to. There aren't those huge differences that probably existed 30, 40 years ago. So in that respect, I think it's much, much easier now to do co-productions and to work with people in different countries because there's a shared culture and language and, you know, as a reference that we all can talk about and not, you know, and, and understand each other. And that to the extent people are really kind of exchanging and, and sharing experiences and understanding each other in a much different way than we ever did by being able to see what their lives are like and everything else, that it's a good thing. Milton Adams, you're amazing. Come on, let's go eat. Do you do anything normally? And at the end of the day, there's a product, there's a film, there's a TV show, there's something that's done. And people can look at it and enjoy it and feel good about it. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. You know, Milne's Secret's about to premiere in the week of September, last week of September. And we have a big screening in LA and Vancouver. And, and it's a wonderful feeling, especially if it's a film that you didn't make just to make money, but it's a film you made because you believe the story has value and can actually you know, provide value to your audience and inspire them or educate them or move them to think about their lives in a different way. And, and when that happens, and believe me, you're just sitting in the audience, you know if it's happening or not, 
there, there's no better feeling, uh, at least in my life. So that's a lot of why I do what I do, you know. It's really about the audience at the end of the day. That is the most important thing to me, is doing what I can to help other people.